there's a big difference between an iron and a driver because with a driver you're hitting up on the golf ball and we're going to explain that today Guys, welcome back to the teaching channel. Today, we are gonna talk about how to hit a driver. This is my favorite club in the bag and hopefully I can help you guys out a little bit. One thing I can always rely on is hitting my driver straight. My irons can be streaky, my putting can be streaky, but one thing is this driver that I can usually count on. And I wanna teach you guys exactly what I do in my golf swing to set up to the golf ball. The driver is very different than an iron swing because in an iron swing, you are hitting slightly down, but a driver swing, you wanna be hitting up on the golf ball because it is teed up. And the way you do that is right here. The checkpoint number one that I want you guys to focus on, the most important part of hitting a driver is ball position. So, I see a lot of amateurs, they get that ball position in the middle of their stance with a driver, they're hitting down, they're popping it straight up in the air, it's going nowhere and they're spinning it, hitting it awful. One thing you gotta make sure is that this ball position this ball is directly in line with the left heel. So if you take an alignment stick or your golf club, take it straight back from the ball here. And now I wanna be right here. So just inside this left heel. So almost be touching that left heel right here. Now that ball position is way forward compared to an iron shot. So I wanna be catching that ball slightly when my arc is moving upwards. So in the golf swing, we have an arc and the arc will some, it'll come down for a second, then it'll start to work its way up. And we wanna be catching this golf ball on the upswing. So first thing, ball position, we got that down. Inside the left heel here. Now, the next thing when I'm hitting a driver is I want a degree of spine tilt in this direction. Normally iron shots, I'm more, I'm more vertical with my spine, straight up and down. With a driver, tilt my spine in this direction. So now, the left shoulder is higher than our right shoulder. Just by setting up in that position, it's gonna make you wanna hit up on the golf ball because if you return with that tilt, your arc should be hitting up at a certain point in your golf swing. So, ball position, shoulder tilt. And the last thing that I really focus on in my driver is when I get over the ball, I'm trying to make sure that I load in to this right leg here. I see a lot of golfers, when you're hitting a driver, it's easy to you know get steep on your shoulder turn, reverse pivot, they get steep on the downswing, they hit down, pop it up. I like to feel with a driver, just because we're hitting up on it, I really like to feel like I'm loading into this right leg and making a big turn off the golf ball so I can stay back here and push up and power up and hit that draw. I'm telling you guys, if you just learn how to get that set up properly, all those checkpoints, ball position, a little bit of shoulder tilt. So for a lefty, it would be this way. And you learn how to load properly. So from there, you can stay back and really launch up on the ball. If you watch Rory McIlroy hit the golf ball, when he gets back, he's got his ball position perfect, a little bit of tilt. When he gets back here, he stays back and hits up and releases. He is not going in this direction over the top and left. He's coming from the inside and hitting up and hitting that powerful draw that he hits with no spin and he launches it so high and far. And if you wanna hit far drives, people always ask, you know, how do I hit the ball further? You gotta hit up on the golf ball and launch it with minimal spin. I'm gonna hit a couple shots here, go through the checkpoints with you, go through what exactly goes through my head. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day watching this video and hopefully these are helping you out with your golf game. So like I said, Take an alignment stick, golf club, doesn't matter. I'm gonna draw it straight back from this line, from the T here, straight line back. Okay, so that's perfect. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump my left heel up against that alignment stick. So now I know my ball position's money. So from here, I'm now gonna give a little bit of tilt. Left shoulder higher than the right shoulder. I'm in a good position here. Now load, push off. Setup's all good. Now just feel the load and we're good to go. about as good as I can hit it there. And that came out nice and high with minimal spin. And that's because before I learned to hit up on the golf ball, I actually used to hit slightly down on TrackMan numbers and left. 
and I was hitting these high weak drives to the right and left. But when I learned how to set up properly, get it inside that left heel, tilt, and hit up on it, you can now hit it higher with no spin. I'm gonna hit a couple more here. Two things, really quick. I don't want you guys getting over your driver and having a million thoughts because two of the things that we are talking about today happen before you even hit the golf shop. The ball position and the tilt. Now the one thing I really wanna to touch on a little bit more is the loading into the right hip. And one thing that you guys can do to feel this when you're wanting to hit your driver further or any club further, take the club, put it over your chest here, get into your position, and when you turn, point this down at your right foot and feel that load into your right leg. All I would say 70% of my weight now is into my right leg and I can push off of it into the golf ball. It's like anything, any sport, if you were to throw a baseball, do anything, you would load, you would move this way and then throw it. You would not go like this, like I see a lot of golfers doing and then reverse pivoting. Um, so it's the same idea with the with hitting a driver, you're swinging hard, you wanna load and explode into the golf ball. I'm gonna feel that really quick. Get over the ball, little tilt. And now, I'm really trying to move into this right hip here and push off of it into a balanced position. Load into that right hip. Nice big draw there. With a driver, you can get away with really moving into your right side. I'm not saying I want you guys sliding off the ball. I just want you to feel this right leg feel like it's stretching and it's loading like a spring. You should feel a little bit of a stretch into this right leg when you're hitting a driver. That's one thing after today's video I hope you guys can take away is the main thing. Two of the things that we talked about happen before you even hit the golf ball. That has nothing to do with feeling all these positions, swing, this is just setup fundamentals of hitting a driver. And then from there, that is a feeling that works for me. Now, there could be other feelings for you guys that work better. You gotta get out to the range, but there's some things when hitting a driver that are very consistent across good golfers, and that is ball position and spine tilt. So hopefully you guys took those key points away now. I would encourage you to always go to the range and feel things that you know, work for you. If, you. if you hit some drives that are going right and left, there also is always a time to go get a lesson from a swing coach and make sure you're getting in the correct positions. But hopefully you guys took something away from today's teaching video. Let me know in the comments what else you are struggling with. This is my favorite thing to talk about. People love hitting the driver. It's the most fun club in the bag to hit. And hopefully next time you guys go to the range, you can use these checkpoints and help your game. Till next time, peace.